everybody, and welcome to Bunky's Workshop. I'm Bunky, and I am bringing you a vacuum to look at with me. Um, those of you that know of Craigslist, which around here, um, and well, it's around a lot of places besides here, uh, but basically it's a place to go online, find things for free or for sale, people are trying to get rid of, and that sort of thing. And every now and then when I'm bored, I go looking for objects like this. And uh, this popped up, and I was really interested because I've never actually seen one in person or had a chance to use one. And this is a Eureka Precision self-propelled vacuum cleaner. So um, as I go through it, uh, will be my first time, and I hope you enjoy this, and we'll go through it together. But as you see on the front here, it says Eureka Precision. It is self-propelled. It does have a cord rewind on the side, which does work. Um, the only thing that I've noticed is that the plug here on the end um, has come out a little bit, which I can repair that. That's not a problem. Um, I can show that to you a little bit better up close, but if you take a look, you can see here it's come loose a little bit. I can repair that. That's not a problem. Uh, I think these were made in the 80s, I believe. Anybody out there let me know, but I believe um, this was from the 80s, but we could double check that. But the cord rewind does work. It's a little slow, but it does work. And we'll start at the very top. Up here, um, it has a switch. Let me put the glasses on so I can read this for you. But it has a switch and it says manual or self-propelled on and off. And right now it is on self-propelled. Okay. Coming down further, here you have a cord hook. So I guess when you pull this out and you have it out as far as you want, you can clip your cord there and it keeps it up here and out of your way. That's nice. And then of course, you had your normal from the 80s. Remember your Hoover convertibles and those kind of the Eureka Boss, that kind of thing. Your spring and your bag. Um, the bag is in excellent condition. There are no rips or tears or anything. It's quite nice. It does need a clean. This thing's pretty dirty. Um, when I picked it up, they wanted $15 for this, and that's what I paid. Um, the bag is pretty full, so I'm going to have to put a new bag in it. Um, and I'll wash the bag. It's pretty, pretty dirty. Coming further down here, you had your on-off switch. If I bring this closer, maybe you could see it as I move. But cord rewind button, on off switch, and here in the middle is your power switch where you have minimum and maximum. Uh, I have not used that so far. And of course on the front, you can see this is plastic uh, to house your cord rewind. In the back here, this is open back here, if you can see this. See that's wide open. I guess it's where you can put storage for your extra bags. This thing is heavy. Woo! You need self-propelled to move this thing, but it is self-propelled. Um, I don't know if it has a light in here or not. I'll have to check. Um, but you had your normal uh, slide here for your height adjustment, which is working. A little stiff, we can clean that up. I mean, the thing is very dirty and dusty and nasty and I'll have to clean it up. Um, the only thing that I did when I got home, um, back up a little bit. When I went to look at it at the gentleman's house and I took it for a quick run, I noticed that it was making weird noises on the forward push. And that indicated to me, I think he had the belt on backwards because it wasn't working correctly. But I didn't say anything. Anyways, when I got home, I plugged it in and checked it and it was right. So the belt is very worn. 
it's slipping and it was on backwards. So instead of the brush roll sweeping this way, it was sweeping the opposite direction. So other than that, it sounded pretty good. I think the boater needs to be cleaned and oiled. Um, I don't know that much about this vacuum. I just always have seen them every now and then and liked them. So, uh, but anyways, the bumper has some stuff on the sides of scrapes of paint. That'll come off easily. Not any problems there. It reclines nicely. That's easy. But it's very dirty. Not a problem. I can clean all that up. Underneath. You can see it's your typical Eureka style metal plate um, beater bars in nice condition. I can clean that up. Um, I think the brushes, well, they're okay. Um, I might source a new beater bar just for the fun of it. Beater brush, brush roll, if you will. And um, it's very dirty under your cobwebs and spider, all kinds of crap. I need to clean it. But um, it's a little bit of rust, as you can see, but I can clean that up. And in here, I'll bring this up close so that you can see it. So that you guys can maybe read. Well, guess not. I'll read it to you. But it's very dirty in there. Um, it has not been serviced in a long time. Let's see what that label says. It says, model number 5175, type A, 120 volts, 7.5 amps, the Eureka Company. So serial number 9014271820. So is that 1982? You guys can let me know. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there know a lot more about these vacuums than I do. But uh, the belt is very worn, it was slipping. And again, I told you this was on backwards, so the brush roll was going in the wrong way. And the plate wasn't even on all the way. One of the, uh, the, the latch here was stuck underneath pushing the plate up. So um, anyways, I put the, um, I, this is Gidget, uh, put it back, I switched the belt around and I put the plate on correctly and uh, just to make sure that that was okay. So what I'll do is I'll let you hear it run and I'll give it a quick run for you. Um, and hopefully some of you guys out there know about these vacuums and can give me some more information like the year and you know all what anything you can give me I'll appreciate and then once I take it apart clean it and do what I can to it um, I'll do another video on it and let you know um, what it looks like how it's doing and its update so let's give it a quick whirl I didn't find any splits or anything wrong with the cord at all except the uh, main plug itself but I can fix that not a problem but I will plug this in for you and let you hear it okay here we go I, ha I haven't even tried the, uh, the slide control here for the um, power as they call it electronic power what does that say? It's so dirty I can't see what's on there, plus my eyes. Electronic power selector, minimum, maximum. I'm gonna try it, see if it works. So if it blows up, hello. Okay, here we go.
I guess some of you want to hear the motor run down on its own, so I'll be quiet so you can hear that. I don't think that's bad at all. The brush roll is vibrating, so the brush roll might not even be in there correctly. I'll have to check. If the belt was backwards and the plate wasn't put on properly, I'm going to have to assume that uh, maybe the uh, brush roll's not on correctly as well. But we can check that, and that's an easy fix. Um, and I don't know if you noticed when I turned it on, the big puff of smoke and dirt, not smoke, but dust that came out of here. So the bag is pretty full. It hasn't been changed at all. So new belt, new bag. I'll see if I can get a new brush roll if, and uh, I'll fix the cord. I'll give it a good clean up and an oil. Other than that, oh, the um, self-propel was working really nice. So, um, oh, and I need to check also whether this was a light or not. You can see where you can take this on and off, this cover, the lens. But I don't know if that's supposed to be a light in there or not. If anyone out there knows again, let me know. And uh, I can source myself a new light bulb and get that working. But... There you go, the Eureka Precision self-propelled. It says on here, ESP between the dirt and my eyeballs. ESP extra suction power, that's the normal Eureka thing. And tri triple filter <laughs> from the dust that came out of there. I don't think that part's working. Anyways, Eureka Precision. There you go in burgundy and everything works and we'll give it some love and see what happens okay well thank you for stopping by and going through this vacuum with me i greatly appreciate it i hope you enjoyed it and if you did and you want to see more of these subscribe to my channel i greatly appreciate it or give it a thumbs up and then ring that bell and you'll know when i upload a new video for you thank you for coming along and i'll be talking to you soon Bye-bye for now.